Distinguished guests, all citizen legislators of the 436th Assembly, welcome. I bring before you the Honorable Michael Penalides, Mayor of the City of Ann. introducing you at events. Can't get a better opening than that. First of all, we got a packed crowd, so I hope everyone outside can hear us all and the future speakers. I just want to thank everyone for taking time out of their schedule to come here tonight. I really appreciate seeing so many friends, meeting a lot of new delegates and senators. For those of you who I didn't meet on the way in, as you said, I'm Mike Canalides, and I'll be your mayor for the next 90 days. So anything you Anything you need other than getting out of parking tickets, please let me know. <laughs> we got a lot of people who enjoy themselves, so we'll keep our remarks brief as MML is going to come up. One of the things I heard today when I heard the Speaker of the House talk on the floor and Governor Larry Hogan was about getting things done. When you look back at Maryland and what we've been able to accomplish, being number one in education, historic rollback in taxes, it shows that people can work together. I think a great example of that is what you see on the local level, cities and towns across America and this state. In the Maryland Municipal League, there's 157 cities in Maryland. I never knew there was that many until I became mayor. But we work together and get things done. And I think the next session we have and the next three years are going to be great. So it was my pleasure, because this big party didn't happen on its own, i got to recognize the sponsors we have with us here today. We have Okasawa Pharmaceuticals. We have the former Annapolis and Anne Arundel County Conference and Visitors Bureau, now known as Visit Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. We have Baltimore Gas and Electric. We have Watermark Cruises, Comcast, Jack Neal and Associates, Alexander and Cleaver, PA, and Dimitri Saki and Nudis. So it is now my great pleasure to bring up the mayor of Friendsville and the Municipal League President, Mayor Spence Slowenbull. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It's great to be in our state capital here in beautiful Annapolis. This is great. We're looking forward to getting this session kicked off here. We had uh, the opening session today with the speaker who was uh, sworn in. We got to be with the delegates and the senators here in our lovely state capital. Annapolis is one of the beautiful and premier cities we have in this in this nation. Thank you so much for being here this evening. I hope you're having a good time. I know I am. It's great to have a partnership with the city of Annapolis again. Um, I'd like to thank Mayor Pandolini's and his wonderful staff for this year's event helping host with the Maryland Municipal League. We have some special and distinguished guests uh, here tonight. I'd like to recognize um, the Lieutenant Governor was here with us earlier. Uh, this evening, he just left a few moments ago. Lieutenant Governor Rutherford, so give him a round of applause. <laughs> Secretary Kelly Schultz, not sure she's in the room. Secretary Schultz. Secretary Dave Craig. This event would be not 
be possible this evening without our sponsors. So I'd like to take a moment and recognize and thank our MML sponsors who are helping us to put this event off this evening. American Fidelity Assurance Company, Cigna Healthcare, Town of Chesapeake Beach, City of College Park, Council, Maradell, Cosmero, Nolan, Friends at City of Frederick, Funk and Bolton, City of Gaithersburg, Town of Kensington, our friends at Legit, Local Government Insurance Trust, Must Go Sports Lady, Town of North Beach, Attorney Gettison, Ripken Baseball, City of Rockville, and Mayor Jeffrey Slavin. The Honorable Speaker of the House, Mike Bush. sponsors. As I said, it was very great to have them here with us this evening and helping sponsor this event. So thank each and every one of them very much. On behalf of the Maryland Municipal League, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight. To our members, please keep in close contact with our state delegates, senators, their staff. It means a lot to each and every one of us. We have some significant priorities this year. This is the year we're going to make things happen. It's going to be great for the Maryland municipalities across this great state. We're going to get it done. We look forward to another productive and exciting General Assembly session. So again, my friend Mike Pandolini, the Mayor of Annapolis, thank you for partnering with us this year. Your staff has been great to work with. We look forward to continued partnership with the Maryland Display. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. A couple more housekeeping items and then it's back to eating and drinking. I want to start off, I can't get anything done without the councils I have, so I want to recognize the members of the Annapolis City Council. You just raise your hand to be recognized. Thank you. Back I also want to recognize former Governor Paris Glendenny. Thank you for being here. Now it's my pleasure to bring up a man that needs no introduction, Speaker of the House, Michael Bush. Very proud of the Mayor Panelides because he guarantees everyone here tonight that one of you will win the Powerball. <laughs> Good news for the MML is half of it will come back to you for road improvement. So, congratulations. It's our pleasure to welcome everyone to Annapolis for a 90 day session. part about the Powerball is, is that we'll increase our revenues by that much more money. Like you said, do more with the roads. So, hey everybody, we're just glad to have you back. I've missed a lot of my colleagues over the last uh, last nine months and look forward to a great session. Thank you all for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it'd be appropriate to uh, bring up one of our former city officials from Hyattsville, who went on to become our governor of this great state. Bring up our friend, Governor Paris Glendening. States, thank you very much, and thank you all for being here. I must tell you, I remember to this date my very first municipal convention, my very first municipal activity. I travel around the country speaking to local officials about environmental issues. The first thing I tell them is I was mostly a local official, and just as a footnote, was I a governor. Congratulations for all the good work you've done. Best wishes for a wonderful session. I enjoy being here tonight. As well. Thank you.